All right, what's going on everybody? How are you guys doing? Welcome to another daily chart breakdown where I show you the ins and outs of what I'm personally doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Our goal of our channel, of our course, uh, is to be able to help people get to the point where you don't need any more signals, you don't need any more help, you can be able to build your account confidently and, and, and just all by yourself, independently. All right. Um, so if you are that person that I'm speaking about and you want to be able to get access to more content, just like what we're about to go over right now, go ahead and click on the like button because what it does is it shows me that this is something that you like and you want to be able to get access to more. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what we're going to be talking about right now is GBP USD, and our topic for today is why we don't want to place a stop loss too close. All right. So, um, what we have seen is um, an actual break of structure. Kind of. The reason why I say kind of is because we have from point A here. Mind you, this is from um, point A, point B, point C. So I can be able to now truly call this a true higher um, higher low. All right, so now we're going to go from here, from point A to point B to point C, technically. This is where the last tech, you know, higher low is what we're, what we're talking about as far as this, this break right here. But it's not a true higher low because it only went to 23.6 technically. So with that being the case, um, this is truly not a form of structure. So as far as price going under here, going under this level of support, um, this is technically not a level a uh, break of structure, but I'm just going to call it a break of structure because this move was just so massive that um, I'm expecting price to push downwards at least some. All right. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there. Now, um, what we see is we see that price um, found this level of support right here and price went lower than that. All right. So um, that's why I'm calling this a, a technical break of structure, even though technically it actually isn't. But we'll continue. So um, where we entered was right here. Right. This green line right here was some I forget exactly what what day or, you know, where exactly it was. But this green line is where we entered. Right. Now, with that being the case, um, when we entered, it was obviously before here, right? <laughs> Excuse me. And I don't know if I had another sneeze or not. And with that being the case as well, um, we see that um, price was finding a level of support over here, right? And once I saw that level of support and the fact that it was broken, I knew, okay, at some point in time, it's going to come back right so what did I do I was like okay there's a possibility that price can be able to come all the way back up here right and being the fact that this is such a large move and GU actually moves in a large way um, I didn't know if price was going to you know come all the way to the top so what what do you think I did exactly what the topic is today the purpose of why not that your stop loss too close. <laughs> All right. So, what happened to me? I entered here. Price is pushing, 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 pushing. I was up 110 point, uh, pips. All right. Market opened here. Still 88 pips up. Then. I go to the grocery store today <laughs> and I come back and I'm like, oh, why is my trade not in? <laughs> and I look and this freaking wick hits my, my trade. Now, where should my stop loss actually be? My stop loss actually should be all the way up here. But what did I do? Because I was such in a profit, I was like, oh, you know, it's, it's not going to come you know, all the way up here. Let me go ahead and just you know, place my stop. You know, right under it, so just in case, you know, something stupid, which what happened, you know, I, I, I won't be in a negative. I could be able to, you know, enter in somewhere up here if it comes all the way up here. So with the mentality of me saying, just in case it wicks it, um, you know, I can something, 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 whatever the hell I was saying to myself. It literally did exactly what I didn't want to happen, but did happen. It wicked it, and then it's now down here. So now I'm not in that initial trade. Now I'm in another trade. So the trade that I'm in right now is slightly lower. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow this together. All right. 
So this is now the trade that I'm in, but with a different mentality. And I'm gonna to explain to you what I mean. It's actually more of a fear mentality. So 28504. And I'm gonna to explain to you why. And as you can see, I'm very open with you know what I got going on here. So I'm in a more, mind you, this is when I, I saw the trade, which is unfortunate. So here's the thing, why, why did I feel comfortable still entering in? Well, being the fact that it broke structure, this area broke structure, um, I'm, the only time that I'm going to enter in is on a specific case. So what's the specific case? Point A, point B. So we have point A, point B. Let's go ahead and go to a lower time frame. So you can see this a little clearer. This is already on there. All right, so we have point A here, the bearish wick. And then we have point B here. Um, I'm just gonna put it over to the bottom. And what do we see? We see the fact that my stop loss was literally right under here. So it literally just hit my, 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 uh, my trade, 15 pips. And I could be still up in profit right now, but because I had fear that just in case, you know, blah, 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 blah. but now I'm, 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 I'm in a bad situation now. Why? Because the thing is when I actually saw the trade, now I entered in here and now I'm in like a la la land. So let me actually step back. Why did I enter in? Why did I feel comfortable still entering? Well, we have point A, we have point B, and then we have the fact that we have a bearish engulfing. We have a bullish candle right here, and then we have two bearish candles engulfing this right here. We call it a variation. So two these, these two bearish candles right there engulfing that one right there based upon the H1 time frame. This is a daily's move, so that's that's why I feel comfortable going ahead and doing so. Okay. But why is this now a more dangerous trade? Well, in this one, um, I was already entered in from, from prior. There, there, was, there was a different feeling to it, a different mentality to it, and, and there's a lot that, that goes into it. Now, with this one right here, why is there some fear in it? Well, because I'm kind of in a la-la land where price can still um, technically make higher highs and higher lows based upon this one hour time frame. And if it starts making higher highs and higher lows, now I'm like, <clears throat> it's different now, right? So that's why it's important to not place your stops too close, to actually place it on based upon a ratio, okay? And it's my fault for having my stop too close. I shouldn't have had it there at all. Right? I should have had it where I'm supposed to have it, right? Somewhere up here, okay? Um, and that's unfortunate. So I'm still in this trade. I still feel confident that it'll, it'll go bearish on me, right? Um, and continue this way to the downside. So it's not like I'm missing out on anything. It's a, uh, what is the difference? I think the difference is like 30 pips from the initial entry to here. Yeah, 30, 30 about 30 pips. It's not crazy. It's just um, I, I came on here to 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 kind of have the teaching sake where you don't want to have your play, your stop losses too close. And if you want to be able to know specifically on a day to day basis where you should have your stop loss, I literally go over that in high depth in um, our our uh, our our 15 hour course, not the one hour one, the 15 hour one. That you would get access to and if you want more information on that just go to fxplanet.com and we have a um a free one hour course where I, I i explain some things but there's some things that i can't go over because you know it's 15 hours worth of content i can't break it down in an hour. i'm pretty sure you understand so um i explained how you, you would get access to it but I, I i go over this in depth um but i should follow my own rules wouldn't you agree yeah um Either way, um, being the fact that we see the fact that price fell below this level of support, I still feel confident about this trade. Um, I still feel confident as well, being the fact that we have two bearish candles, um, you know, engulfing this bullish candle. The only thing as well that I don't like, I don't like when price rushes up in one direction and for me to be able to enter in. Um, 
you know, expecting price to push downwards. Because there's, there's times where price will rush up like this, start pushing down as far as like all the people that are getting out of this buy move. That's what's happening, right? And then some more buyers come up and, and you know, push up the market. Um, be the way, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of bears that are, that are looking to, to you know, get price back to normal because this is technically not normal for price to push up this drastically, okay? Um, so, and as you can see, we've had, you know, a downtrend for a, for a while. So I'm, I'm almost sure that we'll, we'll have this continuation to the downside as far as this point A, point B, point C, and a continuation. Um, we'll see how long it's going to take for this continuation to happen, but I, I think I, I think we'll, we could be pretty um, um, I don't want to say certain, but I, I I feel as though this this should continue, right? Being the fact that we did have this level um, of support being broken right here, uh, that shows enough. All right, so um, with that being the case, guys, um, you know I really appreciate your time. If there's anything a part of this right that you had any questions on go to the specific time that you had a question um, in the comment box put the timestamp and then um, write the question what that's gonna do is right when you write that timestamp and write the question and, and send it I can literally click on the timestamp it'll go to that portion and I can even answer the question that you uh, specifically had and answer it specifically for you right um, so again I really appreciate your time guys um, you know, our goal is to be able to truly help people um, learn this this game and be able to get to the point where you don't need any, any more help. So if you know somebody else that's also looking to be able to learn this game and be able to do it completely independently, um, go ahead and click on the, there's a, there's a button below that's a share button. Go ahead and click on that share button and go ahead and send it over to them. And I'm pretty sure they'll be happy that you went ahead and do that. All right, um, that, you, you know, that you're thinking about them. Anytime that somebody sends me a video, and, you know, out of nowhere, you know, shows me that they're thinking about me and it makes me feel, you know, um, confident in that friend that they're, they're actually looking out for me. You know I mean? So I really appreciate your time, guys. And um, somewhere here, there should be another video that you can be able to click on that's going to relate to the, to the last GU uh, talk. So go ahead and click on the, the next video um, so that you can be able to watch, you know, how I started this or um, the, the, next, uh, the next step in this particular trade. All right. It's going to be over here, so wait for that. All right, really appreciate your time, guys. Peace.